Mark. Because I eventually want to take this conversation to where did things go wrong? So you get down to Miami. Everybody's working on the Saga Continues album. You just literally listed the entire roster of Bad Boy 2.0. And when I say Bad Boy 2.0, this is after the first era of Bad Boy, the Notorious B.I.G., the Locks, Faith Evans, Total, um, and, and all the, you know, Mace. Mm -hmm. After that crew, you guys get ushered in. Um, starting with Shine, Carl Thomas, um, Black Rob. Before... Black Rob was, was, Black Rob was, was Bad Boy 1.0. But where I'm going with this is you come down to Miami on your own dime. You hook up with Puff. Puff gives you the chance to write something. But he also was 100% honest with you. I didn't bring you down here because I don't believe in you. I was actually thinking about dropping you. Right. How can you be mad at somebody who told you as brutally honest as humanly possible why you weren't there mm -hmm. and what he had in mind for your future. Right. I knew it was personally something else because if if I'm not hot enough to be my own artist, then I wrote songs for you. So how can you can't tell me how to write songs if I wrote your songs? So it's like you can't judge my talent. You can't tell me if I'm good or not. I write I write for you. You write, you say the words that I say. You live in my words. So if you live in my words, you can't tell me you're going to drop me. I thought that was the biggest joke in the world. I laughed at it. You know what I'm saying? You can't drop something that, you know what I mean? You can't drop something that's hot. Even if you want to drop me, it's okay. That's fine. I could go, I could do it somewhere else. I'm not going, I'm not going to stop. And still like to this day, if you hear the music, I'm, I still do the same kind of music I was doing back then. And the music I do now is just as good as it was when I did it then. Still, a, okay. still something to be reckoned. With. Yeah, still, I'm still a problem out here, <laughs> you know. And that's Mark, how it always. So, yeah, you, you, you're an artist. You mm -hmm. should feel like you're hot. Nobody can tell you that you're not hot. I get it a hundred percent. But it's his label. It's his budget, and being quote unquote hot is subjective. You might be hot to millions of people. Mm -hmm. But if you're not hot to the man who's cutting the checks, right? You know but, he but has then, the right you know, to say, "Look, not hot to the, you know, oh, oh, I'm, I'm oh, not oh, living oh. up." Yeah. Hold, hold for one second. Hold for one second. This man, and again, I'm not defending him. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm trying to be objective mm -hmm. in this conversation. So, if this man thought enough of you to initially sign you to the label. And then after signing you, a year goes by, two years go by, three years go by, he says, you know what? My 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 initial thoughts on this artist, I thought he was hot. I was willing to invest hundreds of thousands of dollars into him. Mm -hmm. A few years later, I don't feel that way. Right. Why is it an issue if he at that point says, you know what? I'm going to cut my losses. I'm a businessman. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Right. So with that case, Sean Press, when I was going into the office and I was asking like Francesca Spiro, you remember her, right? Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. I remember asking Francesca Spiro, what's going on with my deal? And finally they started being honest with me and told me I didn't have a recording budget. So then I started wondering where happened, where happened to my recording budget? That means what happened to my recording budget? I ain't had, they spent my recording budget. I didn't have no money to record an album. That's what happened up there. But 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 that's not that's not totally accurate, Mark. And and I'm only saying because I'm, I'm a record label know. executive. I didn't have a recording budget. No, I understand. Mm -hmm. But recording budgets are allocated. Recording budgets are allocated when there's when it's time to do an album. Right. If if he had, if if he or Harv or, or or the label as a whole had no intention of allowing you to record a budget, 
there wouldn't be a recording budget. Yes, you would have gotten your advance. Uh, hear, hear me out, because I'm just trying to educate you. Yes, right. you would have gotten your advance, but an advance is far different than a recording budget, which is also far different than a marketing and promotion budget. So you not having a recording budget doesn't imply that the label spent your recording budget on something else. Oh, the label. Do you understand that? Yeah, I'm definitely that. But then you have, you got to remember this one also. How I signed to Puff, I signed to him through a friends of his. You don't think that he gave the friends no money? So there was some money this past, it just didn't come my way. And when you look at sometimes how a lot of people do business, when they want to give business to someone else, they definitely going to sign your artist through. Just like uh, Boys in the Hood was signed through Block, Block Entertainment. You understand? So at the end, Puff didn't really have to get Boys in the Hood no money. He just gave the money to Block. Let Block do it. Right? Now, if Block mess up that money, then that mess up the whole Boys in the Hood recording project. Right? So it's no, it's no problem. Because those things are like water under the bridge. We can't bring that back. Those are things that I had to learn to deal with and accept. And I've done it. You know, I moved on from that. I don't, I don't look and point fingers and say, he gave you this money or he did this or what happened. It's almost like when you audit. You can audit and say, let's, let's do an audit on my budget and let's, let's figure out where my money went to. You know what I'm saying? And just one of those kind of things, man. It's just business. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.